Hey, what's up guys, man? Nathan Harmon, and just kind of bring you a little bit behind the scenes, some of the things that you may not know about me. You see me a lot of times on the videos or speaking about a lot of life issues and how we our minds work, addiction, mental health, choices, dreams, goals. But something that you may not know is that, dude, I am a coffee junkie. Um, maybe that's the wrong word to use, but the truth is, dude, I just love coffee. And so I wanted to show you a little bit of what I do every morning before we hit the road or where when I wake up and I'm just living life. Like, I love coffee. If you can't tell, I'm all over the place all the time. No, my squirrel mentality doesn't come from my coffee. It's because I'm probably ADD, but it's a great tool for me. But now, back to the coffee. So, I don't, I have a Keurig, a lot of stuff here, but I love doing the press, right? And so it's kind of curious to let you guys know, I got coffee beans from all over. This is from um, Cannon Beach where the Goonies was filmed. We got some coffee from, from Oregon. I got some coffee from actually when we were in Guatemala. I got some coffee that's the Cuban blend, comes from Cuba. I didn't go to Cuba, but I was in Alabama doing an event. And uh, shout out to my, my peeps in Alabama. Amazing coffee, super strong. I also got coffee from Durango, Colorado. It's uh, the reason our chameleons named Durango is because, well, we love Durango. But then I get to some more of the crown jewels. Some of you may think it's freaky and weird, but this is called Kopi Luwak. This is an expensive coffee, um, like 30 bucks a cup. I don't know if you get it on the street. Uh, it comes from the civet. Uh, it eats the coffee berry. It extracts the coffee berry in the belly of the animal. It gets it nice and uh, the enzymes. And so then you have Kopi Luwak. It's phenomenal. But then there's my favorite. It's called Black Ivory. Black Ivory. This comes from an elephant. Same way that Kopi Luwak does. Yes, it eats the berry, extracts it. We extract it. And uh, we get the super, super, super Super blended, super soft, gentle, really expensive. This is this is like seventy dollars a cup. So listen, I really am pretty frugal, but sometimes you gotta have those things you like. And so I air occasionally get this black Kopi Luwak or black ivory. Now here's what I would do. Watch, you're actually gonna see me make this black ivory coffee right now. Um, this right here is it, it'll get you two or three cups. This is pretty expensive stuff. Um, but what we do then is you'll take it and you put it in here and then oh, these coffee beans are worth gold y'all literally you gotta get every one of these these aren't these these little coffee beans ain't cheap you put it in your grinder you grind it up not too fine and then what we'll do is, I always, by the way, up here, I have all these coffee cups. These coffee cups come from everywhere. And so I always, it's about picking the coffee cup. This coffee cup's from Tokyo, Japan. This coffee cup was from Zimbabwe, Africa. This coffee cup is from Guatemala. Anyway, we get coffee cups from everywhere. So if I'm going to eat some black ivory, which comes from uh, Africa, uh, why don't we use the cup actually from, you know, Africa? So what we'll do is we grind it up. We're going to pour it into here. You have to heat up your water. And we'll be right back in two minutes. So once we have microwaved some coffee, and, and not microwave coffee, but we heat up our water, we then take our black ivory, finely ground, good coffee, not cheap. A drop of bean, gotta find it. You pour it in the press, like so. You take your water, you pour your water, and then you let it sit. And there's always different numbers on how long you're supposed to. I'm like a four minute guy, I let it sit here for four minutes, and then I'll stir it and let it go three more minutes. So I'll see you in set seven minutes all right man so we have grinded up our black ivory we put it in our little french press we might we've been here sitting it's been so now watch what we do is so the water and the coffee grounds have just been like absorbing so now you take this and it's got like a cool little 
And so I just push all the coffee grounds down. Now I'm going to get black ivory coffee from the elephants. Um, whatever. But it's so good. Really, people drink it like, man, that's so smooth. Black ivory. Wrong cup. I was supposed to drink it in this cup. Ah, not gonna waste it. This cup's from Yosemite. Ah, smooth. I'm a coffee junkie. What can I say? A little behind the scenes of my uh, coffee journey. Love you guys, man. Be safe.